All right, so we're ready to get started. Let's go ahead and open up IntelliJ. From this screen, we're going to click New Project. Notice that Maven is automatically selected, and then we're going to click Next. In here, you can give your project a name by entering in this field. I like to go here, set in this group ID as IO, and then the artifact ID. We're going to call this Intro to Web Driver. Notice that the artifact ID is the same thing as the name. Now we're going to click Finish. Since this is a Maven project, the first thing we see here is the pom.xml file. And if we look at the project structure, we're going to click here, and we see that we have an SRC folder. If we expand that, we're going to see two subfolders, main and test. Let's go ahead and work with this pom.xml file. As you may recall from previous videos, the pom.xml file will contain any Maven dependencies. So let's go ahead and add our dependencies. We start by saying dependencies. Next, we need to add Selenium WebDriver dependency because we're going to be developing Selenium WebDriver tests. So let's go ahead and open up a web browser and search for Selenium WebDriver. We're going to click on this result here for Selenium. Then we're going to go to Downloads. Click that and scroll down to where it says Maven information. We're going to click here, and here we see the Selenium WebDriver dependency. So we're going to copy this and go to our project and paste it right in here. We're going to be using testing.js as our testing framework. So let's go ahead and add that dependency. We're going to go back to the web browser, and this time we're going to search for testng. We're going to click here, and we're going to select download. And from this Maven section, we're going to copy the dependency. Now let's go back to our project and paste the dependency here. Now we're going to click this button to update everything. All right, so we're done adding our dependencies. Next, we're going to go here to our project structure. I'm going to expand this test folder. And we're going to right click this Java folder and say new package. The package name is going to be automate now. Now we need to add a class. We're going to right click here and say new Java class. And we're going to call it sandbox. Then hit enter. Notice that it's a common practice to use a capital letter for your class name. This is the class we're going to use to write our Selenium tests. All right, so before we start writing the first test, let's walk through what we're going to do here. I'm going to open up a web browser here, and we're going to go to automatenow.io. Once we navigate to this page, we're going to verify that we have landed on the home page. That's all our test is going to do. So let's go back to IntelliJ and start doing that. So we're going to go inside our sandbox class. Let's go ahead and start writing this first test. I'm going to say public void. And since this test is going to test the home page, we're going to say test home page. It's good practice to use the word test in front of your test name. And then we type open and close parentheses and an open and closing brace. Inside of these braces, we're going to write the logic for our test. Now let's write down the steps that we're going to take. So first, we're going to navigate to the home page. Then we're going to verify the page title. And lastly, we're going to close the browser. So let's start with the first step here. By now, we have learned that in order to interact with a website, we need to use the Selenium web driver. So let's create an instance of that. And we say web driver, we're going to call it driver equal new Chrome driver. And we put a semicolon at the end. Now that we have an instance of web driver, we can use it to navigate to the website. We do that by typing driver dot get. And notice that this takes a string as a parameter. So we're going to use open and close quotes. And inside of those quotes, we're going to enter the URL that we're going to be using. So let's go back to our web browser and just copy this URL. And then we're going to paste it here. For the next step, we need to verify the page title. So let's go ahead and start by creating a string. I'm going to call it page title. I'm going to type equal to driver dot get title. 
This test is only going to perform this validation. It's going to validate the page title. So we're going to use a testng assertion. And we do that by typing assert dot assert equals. Notice that as we type, IntelliSense is giving us suggestions of what we can use. And now we type in open and close parenthesis. And when we do that, we notice that assert has been marked in red. If we put our mouse over that, it's saying that it cannot resolve symbol assert. So in order to fix this, we're just going to click here. And notice that this is giving us a suggestion to hit Alt Enter to import assert class. So we're going to do that, Alt Enter. And once we do that, we see that we have a new import here. And this is coming from testng. The assert class has been added to our imports. And now this is recognized. Let's go back inside our parentheses. And we're going to verify that the page title matches what we expect. Let's go back to the web browser and we're going to find out what the page title for this page is. If you hit S12, you're going to get a developer console here. And here we see the HTML structure. And inside this head tag, we're going to expand that and you're going to find this title tag. This is the text that we're going to be looking for. So let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to IntelliJ and we're going to type page title, comma, and then inside quotes, we're going to enter the text we expect to find. And we're going to end this statement by typing a semicolon. The last step here says to close the browser. So we're going to simply type driver dot quit. And now our test is complete. The only thing that we're missing now is the testng annotation called test. So we're going to go back to the start of our method and we're going to type at test. And notice that this is coming from the testng annotations. So I'm going to double click that. And now this is defined as a test and we can run this test. You can click on this green arrow here and select run in the name of your test. We saw how quickly the browser opened and closed back down, but we can see down here that the test has passed. It's also indicated by this green check mark. Let's make this test failed on purpose. We're going to go ahead and change this text here and just add something at the end. So let's go ahead and run it again. And this time we see an error. If we scroll down here, we're going to see that there's an assertion error. It expected to find this text, but it found this one instead. Let's go ahead and fix this test again so that it passes the next time it runs. The last thing that I would like to cover today is to show you how to maximize the browser window. If you notice, when the browser opened, it did not get maximized. In order to do that, we're going to go here and type driver.manage.window.maximize. We're going to click here to run our test again. Notice that this time the browser window was maximized when the test was running. We also see that the test passed. Congratulations, you've written your first Selenium test. Before I wrap up this video, I would like to give you some troubleshooting tips. Say for example, you run this test and you get this error message. It says, the path to the driver executable must be set by this system property. If you're seeing this error, it's because the Chrome driver has not been properly set. Please go back to part zero of this video series to learn how to set the Chrome driver in the system's path variable. Thank you.